Welcome to the 2024 Olympics. It's day one kicking things off here in Paris. Now, I don't know about you, Marcia, but I am on the edge of my seat. <laughs> Craig, I don't know if I'm sitting right now. <laughs> well, I do love that hyperbolic enthusiasm, Marcia, but I can guarantee that you are, in fact, seated here right next to me at this very moment. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I am. How about that? Folks, we are moments away from the opening ceremonies and the crowd is roaring. That information is valid. It looks like the March of the National Anthems is about to begin. And up first with their sacred song from an Eastern European nation, it's the Czech Republic. Uh, first performed in Prague in 1834, this iconic song translates literally to mean where my home is. Let's have a listen. Yep, that's Thunder Road by Bruce Springsteen off his 1975 album, Born to Run. Huh? This ballad describes a young woman named Mary, her boyfriend, and their one last chance to make it real. It's truly uniting the prestigious Czech people tonight. Well, it's just, it's an American rock and roll song, everyone knows that. It sure is, Craig. Next. It looks like we have the much anticipated March of the French National Anthem. As we all know, France is renowned for a rich and expansive history, a sense of unified pride, and unwavering individualism. Craig, care to chime in here? Come on, don't choke on national television. Well, uh, the French National Anthem is, uh, widely known as a song of freedom written during the revolution. It began as a patriotic call to mobilize citizens to fight against tyranny. And the lyrics allude to some rather, well, some rather violent imagery. That's right. I guess you could say it is a little dark, isn't it? Let's bend our ears, shall we? This recording won Springsteen his first Grammy Award, picking up the prize for Best Rock Vocal Performance in 1985. Wait, what, what the hell is happening right now? At its core, this song reflects the struggle to find meaning and purpose in life. I believe the French call it ennui. Now there's something we can all relate to. And coming up next, we have the legendary country of Uganda. Oh, Uganda? Yes, Craig, ever heard of it? Well, yes, actually, Marcia, I have. When I was in college, I spent three months in Uganda uh, studying abroad. Actually, I know this national anthem. My host family sang it for me while I was there. How topical. Well, okay then. Here's a good one. Please join me in wishing a fond welcome to this African country. Here is, oh, Uganda, land of beauty. Singles, Rolling Stones ranked this song 275th on their list of 500 greatest songs of all time. Look, born in the USA, there's no way it's not the national anthem of Uganda. This 1984 song addresses the harmful effects of the Vietnam War on Americans and the treatment of Vietnam veterans upon their return home. Not many people know that, Craig. Nothing demonstrates the pride of Ugandan people like an ironic retort to the indifference and hostility with which Vietnam veterans were met when returning to the U.S. What the fuck? Anybody? Please, you need to check the privilege at the door. This is the biggest multicultural event of our time. Oh, well, this is insanity. Oh, is it? Is it correct? Every nation in the world gets inspired by Springsteen. He's the boss. Whether you're up or down, hopeless or happy, heartbroken or just hanging on to a dream before it fades away and your ex-husband leaves Colorado forever, Springsteen is all we have. It's all we have. And if I have to bribe every leader from every nation to make these songs play tonight, then that's what's gonna happen, Craig. I knew it, you did this. Hey, yeah. Fuck yeah, I did! And I'm gonna be dead down in the ground before you take away these majestic songs from the 33rd Olympic Games. Alright, play the fucking song. Shit. Thank you. 
love this song. The world loves this song, Craig. I have a dog. Oh, and next up is Germany. Oh, look at that. They're hiding.